I love different holiday traditions, you know, the things that we can do as a family, you know, the experiences that we can have, the things that we can make, you know, all of that. And I also love Easter. Isn't it crazy to think that it is almost Easter, like yet again, but it's exciting. I know that we are excited about Easter in our family and what that means. And, you know, I'm always looking for some new things that I can be doing with the girls. Maybe it could become a new family tradition with something that we do. Like we always decorate eggs. And then I'm like, well, is there a different way that we could be doing it? And so that is what we're going to look at today on how to make some salt dough Easter eggs. Hi, and welcome to Learning Life. And thank you so much for joining me. As you can see today, we're getting into something that I really enjoy doing, which is, yes, crafting activities because they're not just a potential mess maker. You know, I'm never afraid of mess with it, but because I love the enriching learning experiences that they are. And to me, that that's my heart, you know, that I want to provide rich experiences for my girls and for your children without them actually even maybe realizing that they're learning. And so that's why I bring these videos to you. And thank you for watching, for liking, subscribing, commenting, sharing. You truly are amazing. Well, it's Easter in a couple of weeks. It's crazy, isn't it? And my girls have been talking about Easter since New Year's. Like, when is Easter? When can we have our, our present hunt? When can we do this? And they love Easter too. And I do. And so every year, like we dye eggs, we make hot cross buns because they are just delicious and you can't get them over here unless you happen to have an Australian bakery nearby. Um, but, you know, one of the things that I love doing is like, how could we take like that egg idea and do something different? As a child, I remember like punt poking holes in the top of an egg and having to blow the yolk out. Oh, it still causes me a bit of anxiety. You know, like, oh, if it broke. But then we would decorate the outside of the egg and we'd make like an Easter tree. You know, sort of like this and hang. I remember that at school, like that everybody in the class got to make an egg and we'd hang it all up and it was beautiful. Well, I'm not quite ready to blow yolks out with my daughters. And so I was thinking through what's another egg activity and I love salt dough because there are so many things that we can do with it. You know, it's not just for autumn leaves or for Christmas decorations. We can make beautiful Easter eggs with them too. And so let's have a look at how to make them. They actually really are easy, my friends. Don't you get too worried. So salt dough. This is not all of it, but, you know, four cups of flour one cup of salt oh, to eat, and about two cups of water. And you want to mix it and knead it and make it into a workable dough. Okay, if it's too dry, this might be, it will crumble. If it's too wet, yeah, just not going to get it. And so like my girls love to knead dough. And so we get it and you get your dough and then your beautiful rolling pin. We have, a, we have a great one for when we like make pizza and stuff like that. If you don't have a rolling pin, use a can or something, you know. So we're going to roll it out. Watch me make faces as I roll out the dough. And you do want to get it in a pretty even. This is where I struggle because I, I want it to be perfect, but it won't be. And so we're just going to level it out to not too thin, not too thick. Okay, once we've got it rolled out, this is where we're going to cut. Now, I didn't have any Easter egg cookie cutters at home. And quite frankly, I didn't want to go out and buy them. To me, that's just an expense that we just didn't need to have. I love being able to just do things with stuff that I have around the house or at home. So all I did was draw and make some Easter egg shapes on some cardstock. And so this is where... It's just a matter of placing it down and then cutting around. Now, maybe the outside is just not as smooth 
as it would be like on a cookie cutter when you can press all the way down. But my girls actually loved being able to cut around as well and to get their Easter egg shape. Okay, once we've cut out our Easter eggs, we want to be able to put a hole in the top, especially if you want to be able to hang them. Okay, for this, you can use like a skewer or something. I have found straws to be great, and we actually have like reusable straws, which is just wonderful to just poke that hole through. Okay, so we're just poking a hole through, and then we're going to put them onto our baking tray, getting ready to bake. Okay, easy, easy process. And it's great for kids too, being able to do this and getting the hole through. So we're putting it onto our cookie sheet. We'll get it all. Our oven is preheated to about 250 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're going to bake them for about two hours. It depends on the thickness, but we just want a slow, long bake so that they really, really dry out, which is what we want. So once we have them baked, we get them out, we cool them off. Now, before we paint them, I like to whitewash, you know, for stuff like this, especially with Easter eggs, we want to get like these colors out. So we just whitewashed ours and let that dry. And then we got to have some fun with our paints. So again, we always have just like different paints at home and we can see brushes. We used glitter glue just because it's a whole lot less mess than using glitter and, you know, tacky glue or white glue or whatever it is that you have. And so that's what we did. And we had a great time. Some of them, we actually used sponging technique and we talked about it as we're painting. Oh, I'm going to overlay this color and look what it comes. I love listening to the process that my girls have while they are painting. Now, like try something and then, the, oh, I want to do this and I want to do that. And, you know, even I did this one and I get, oh, mom, that's great zigzagging you've got there. I'm like, thank you. Thank you very much. And so we did. We just had a great time, like thinking through colors, whatever we can do. This time we didn't actually look at inspiration online. We just let ourselves go. Sometimes like for eggs, we do look at maybe what other cultures do or maybe what other people have. But for us, it was all about color. And once that dried, we did. We used our glitter glue on them, which was just great. We, you know, actually you don't even have to have the paint dry if you don't want to, but we just had so much fun. And I loved listening to the girl saying, oh, so I'm going to do this with it. And I think we should do more and we can hang them up and we can do this and we could make some for our friends. And so like, there's this creative process going. And of course they might see me doing zigzags and then they're like, oh, my, maybe I want to do something like that. Like this one, I want to do different shapes. We've done polka dots, we did stripes, you know, so we're using color shape. We've been using our hands. We've been like needing so many different skills that my girls haven't realized is like it's all encompassing sort of learning activity. We were just having fun and doing something for Easter. So once they're completely dry, you do want to hang them. Now, of course, we seem to always have the ends of rolls of curling ribbon left over from different stuff. You could use whatever ribbon you have, cotton string, anything like that. And so it's just a matter of cutting it off however long you want it, of course, and threading through and tying off. I didn't paint this one for you. This is just a beautiful white one. You can use your imagination. And so we just tied it off and now we can create our own Easter tree, which is what we're going to do. We're going to find a good branch. We might go for a hike and find a proper branch that's not a pine branch and hang these. So that's it. Salt dough Easter eggs. Super easy, super fun, great for all ages. And it's also a bonus learning experience. So I hope you have a fun with this. Create your own Easter eggs. Give them to your friends. Give them away. Like this will be wonderful. And thank you so much for watching today. I really hope that you enjoy it. 
And if there's other crafts that you like, check out my website, learningness.life, where I do have videos of other crafts and ideas and the instructions that are there. Um, and also, if you would like to see these videos, you don't forget to subscribe, but you can join us as a champion to help get these videos out. And you can do that through patreon.com or again, through my website, learningthis.life. Now go, let's make some Easter eggs and let's have some fun.